Hey everybody, Sean Keenan here, and in this tutorial for Tuts Plus, I'm going to walk you through uh, a fish rigging method here, so that we uh, will have a, a or the ability to go ahead and manually animate our fish, but we'll also have the ability to go ahead and have uh, an automatic swimming method, um, more of a method where I would call it a manual automatic swimming method rather than being run through expression because you really should learn how to do all this stuff manually uh, inside of Maya before you really start going ahead and diving into sort of the expression method where you're really coding uh, the joint movement so um, with all that said here let's go ahead and get started so you can see that we have a basic fish uh, geometry here uh, really no facial controls here and I'm doing that because I want to focus on uh, really just getting that uh, ability to manually control the fish. Um, facial rigging is basically uh, just a, an add-on. Um, so we're really just going to go ahead and concentrate here on uh, just getting the, the fish body to, to move correctly. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. And we're going to start the process here. Uh, as you can see, I already have a layer for our fish geometry. We're just going to go ahead and draw in our joints here, uh, and then in the next lesson we'll go ahead and paint our joints. Um, since this isn't necessarily that complex of a uh, geometric structure, we aren't really going to need a, a very complex uh, joint system. So we'll just jump into our side window here. And I'm just going to draw out a couple joints here. Um, I'm not really going to worry about renaming all the joints, uh, though some of them I am going to go ahead and put a, a naming convention on. So uh, if you just draw your joints out basically the same way that I do it, you really shouldn't have too much of a problem here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just draw that joint chain out here. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit Y on our keyboard to repeat the last tool command there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just jump back into our perspective view here. Go ahead and turn on our x-ray joints. And I'm just really trying to line this up properly so that everything is going to fit nice and neat with inside the middle part of the mesh. Okay, so we'll go ahead and rename this one uh, the left bottom rudder fin. Um, that way the, the naming convention is, you know, basically going to be the same. So we'll call this the left rudder B, uh, N. So you can always go ahead and shorten that up if you wanted to. So uh, we'll call this the LRB1 and the LRBN. So I know exactly um, what it is there. We'll go ahead and just draw out our other joint chain here for what is going to be our uh, left rudder, uh, left rudder fin side one and we'll go ahead and just jump down to call the end one here left rudder side fin end uh, I want a space in between the L and the R there so really not um, too complex in terms of the actual uh, naming convention just so we really understand and, and know exactly what's what there okay so we'll go ahead and just pull this over and I'm just trying to make sure that this is actually going to be right in the middle here. I'll go ahead and just have to you know, pull that there. That's fine. Go ahead and just hit down on my keyboard to go ahead and pull that last one over. And that's just going to have to be right in the middle there. Just making sure that I get it all the way to the end. Okay, so that looks fine here. Uh, you'll notice that I'm not going to put any joints um, in this uh, body fin or this body fin or the bottom body fin here. Uh, really because we're not going to really uh, have to worry about getting those to move correctly. Um, they're going to move fine once we go ahead and put the auto swim function on it. And so uh, this is just fine in terms of our joint setup for, for now. Okay, so now what we need to go ahead and do is we need to mirror these joints over so that they're going to be basically in the same position on the opposite side here. Um, and this will work 
simply because our mesh uh, is lined up and being ready in the middle of the, the actual access grid here. Okay, so let's come up here to skeleton and we're going to mirror the joint, just making sure that um, we replace the naming convention L underscore with the R underscore and we're going to mirror it in the Y, Z axis and we want the behavior to be the same. Okay, so let's just select the joint chain here. We'll go ahead and hit apply and you're going to see that that joint gets mirrored. Okay, let's go ahead and select this joint. Go ahead and mirror that. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Okay, and I'm just going to show you what will happen here since we're using the behavior node. Okay, so now when we rotate Y, they're both going to re uh, rotate in the same uh, sort of behavior rather than having the orientation mirror. Okay, so with those joints uh, join in, let's go ahead and connect the, the excess joints here to the body. So um, where we want to connect it is going to be um, very important. And since this is going to rotate our head, I think we would uh, want to have our side fins actually parented to that joint. So we'll go ahead and just hit P to go ahead and parent those. Okay. And we obviously have to parent our tail joint to our body joint. So we'll just select our tail joint, select our body joint, go ahead and hit P to parent that. Okay. So now that's going to be our root joint, which is good. Let's go ahead and skin our model. Okay, so let's go select our mesh. Just hit one just to make sure that it's going to be at the lowest uh, subdivision level, uh, and you don't have that smooth preview one. So whenever the feed, whenever you go to move this uh, joint system, our feedback isn't going to be slow. We'll select our root joint, which is um, right in between the the top and bottom back fins here. We'll go ahead and skin bind, skin smooth bind the option box. Uh, I'm going to leave the max influences here at 6. Uh, this way it just gives me a uh, softer fall off whenever skinning. And I'm going to leave the drop off right here to 4. So we'll go ahead and skin this and see what happens. Okay, so uh, right away this looks pretty good. We're definitely going to have to paint weights. Um, Really, there's no way around actually having to uh, skip painting weights. Uh, no matter what you skin, you're definitely going to have to paint weights because you can obviously see it here. Um, the the side fins are actually affecting the body, and that's fine. Um, this really shouldn't be too bad in terms of actually painting the weights. So uh, in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back, and we will begin the process of painting weights for our, our fish body here. So... Uh, come on back.